Sorry. Okay, we're gonna get started, everyone. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, just a couple housekeeping items. We have a table at the back uh, for, with a speaker in case you wanna record uh, the audio from this. Um, we're gonna let the coaching captain here um, answer the first question, and then when it comes to you, we'll bring the microphone over. You can uh, let us know your name and which publication you're with. So, um, Sophie, uh, we'll just start with you. Uh, your thoughts on the match today and overall on, on the tournament here at Rugby World Cup 2021. Um, yeah, I d uh, France played really well today. They were the better team on the day, uh, which is disappointing for us. They outplayed us today, but I'm really proud of uh, the way we've played throughout this tournament. And today wasn't our day, but hopefully it's good building blocks. Um, yeah. And coach, uh, same question for you. Um, but I think we didn't show up today for sure. And we need to review if it's emotional or physical, but like, that was a no show for us, and like friends very, play very well in every aspect of the game, so it's just they just deserve the win today for sure. Open it up to the floor now. Yep. Uh, hi, my name's Jonathan. I'm from the Irish Design League USA. Sorry, we're just going to get the microphone a little louder. Hello? That's What's your question? I'll, I can repeat it. Hi. Um, my question is... Canada seems to be on a, a rugby journey at the moment, and you've hit a height of finishing third. What's the next ambition? What's next for you guys? So the question is, what's next for Canada uh, after an impressive tournament? <laughs> this is a tough question to answer. I, I hope we're going to keep going. Um, the sacrifice they, they made for those like six, seven months is great, but because they see the World Cup. So now we, we are going to see if we could keep going this group again, even if it's not a World Cup year next year. That's, that's always a challenge for us. So I hope it's going to stick. I hope we're going to just help them just to, to stay together. So that's, that's my hope, but I can't tell you exactly what's going on for this group next year. Uh, kia ora. I'm, my name's Adi. I'm from Marai Television. Uh, Sophie, you look shattered. <laughs> Was it, how hard was it out there? Uh, yeah, it was hard. Like France was France played a great game, and uh, yeah, as Kevin said, we we need we want respect, and I think part of like earning respect is being honest. And if we're honest with ourselves, we didn't show up today. Um, so I think we have a lot of work to do when we go back home to improve, and I think we have totally have the potential to do that. We've shown that at times. But for us, it's about consistently building over the next three years so that we can compete for the World Cup in 2025. Let's be honest, this is it's the worst is the, the worst to have to play. And I do feel <laughs> sorry for you for that. But you guys have been so good this tournament. So it's just, it, was it, France were just too good? Because you guys were really extraordinary last year. Yeah, I don't think we played to our potential today. And so I think... I, but also credit to France for playing really well. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think we really showed up, which is disappointing for the last game of the tournament because we've been playing so well and building every single game. Um, so we'll need to go back and do our homework and figure out why that was um, and not allow that to happen in the next World Cup. Uh, Sophie, Suzanne McFadden from Newsroom. Um, what is next for you? Great question. <laughs> Uh, you know, I wish I knew. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I've, I wish I could give you a good answer. Um, I've always wanted to focus on my career as well as rugby and just finished a commerce degree. So 
I'd like to find something that I can do um, in conjunction with my rugby to become like a well-rounded athlete in person. What that is yet and how I continue to grow as a rugby player during that process, I'm not sure yet. Um, what is, in Canada, how easy is it to do that, to you know, round out your career but still be, oops, sorry, a, a top rugby uh, player? Currently in Canada, you're almost forced to do that because we're not pay, uh, paid as rugby players, so you need to have a career. Um, I'd love to be able to do it where I can um, fully invest in the rugby and have something on the side, which makes it sound weird to say I want to be 100% and focused on rugby, but also have a career on the side. But I really think, like, as humans, we're capable of so much, and I'd love to, like, be one one of the best rugby players, but also have a career and continue to grow in the like that aspect of life as well. Yep, on the other side. Sophie Cameron from World Rugby. What's the biggest thing? What's the biggest thing you've learned about yourself and this team throughout the course of the tournament? Um, I think I've learned the power of um, a true team and genuinely being able to work together and relying on each other in like tough times but also wanting to spend all our free time together and feeling a, an actual connection with every single person and you like being able to walk into a room or an elevator and make conversation and give someone a hug when they're down. And I think our team is a true team and we enjoy spending time together. And I think that's what's gonna carry us through. This is like a pretty disappointing finish to the tournament, but I think the genuine connectedness and togetherness and love that we feel for each other will um, power us through this and we'll be resilient and we'll come back stronger. Yep. Uh, Aideen Marai TV. Um, just to circle back to what you were saying before about it not being professional in Canada, how far away do you think professional, and this is for you both, um, how far away do you think professional rugby is Kevin? for athletes? The way we do right now is like the players want to play rugby needs to go outside Canada. So that's not sustainable for like years. So this is the short time mindset that, that we do. Like right now we, we try to rely on other country. Saying that rugby Canada try to help us as the maximum, but we are not like a, how to say that, a cultural rugby country. So it's tough for us, for sure. So it will very depend about like how we invest from World Rugby and from partner, we'll, we'll, we'll do in the, the women's rugby. So we are very dependent of that. And if there is investment, like we are close to something, but if there is nothing, we are nowhere. If I could sum up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like I think we're at a really important crossroads here where like the professionalism of women's rugby is taking off. And I think we can be like a flagship program for women's rugby, but specifically North American women's rugby, like us in the US can be really strong, but um, we don't have the rugby cultures yet and the capabilities within our unions, uh, or at least I only know about Rugby Canada, but I think if we can invest in women's rugby and North American rugby, we can truly like be powerhouses of the game. Okay, thank you very much everyone. Appreciate your time and thank you to uh, Kevin and Sophie. Thank you. Thanks. France will start in seven minutes.